hello everyone thank you so much for completing the experiment successfully so since we are doing a steady calibration and we are doing like we are calibrating the pressure sensor here so yeah i will be discussing some calculations of report uh, report requirement for this lab so yeah first of all you have to do yeah, what you need to do you need to give all the definitions for these errors and you will find all the definitions within the text and uh, your lecture notes so what do we, i will discuss that i will talk about the report requirement here so first of all like uh, there are 20 points for positive one and uh, and the error calculation uh, for all the steps here and uh, some error calculations so you will have uh, 40 points for the positive pressures since you you'll get the data set like this okay so yeah let me hide it for a while theoretical okay so since uh, I, I since let's assume you get all the data set like this you you are getting pressure and voltage for three runs there are three runs and there are upward there is upward runs for each run there is upward and downward run so okay so these are the voltages and these are like something assumed these are not the exact voltages from any kind of experiment i just uh, uh like I, I just assumed this for this demonstration all right so here you can see so what you need to do you need to do the linear cut fit from these equations uh, uh like from these uh data and you need to find out the sensitivity for the sensor so right so what you need to do uh, i already have done it okay so i will show it for the another one okay so so uh, say, let's say there we are doing working with the run two so let's uh okay so uh, we i will be okay i'm sorry so i will be inserting a column here okay enter column and another column here okay insert all right so here you can see these three values these represent the upward like and these values are found when we are going upward so i will be creating a graph from these three like insert a scatter plot and after inserting the scatter plot i will add a trend line you can see there is option for adding trend line and i will keep it linear but what i will change here i will set intercept here and display the equation on the chart upon applying these options you can see there is a tiny little equation here and this equation will be very much helpful for us so the number associated with x the coefficient of x 0 0.1993 this is the slope and this is basically the sensitivity of this sensor so the question uh, there might be a question why we are choosing first three if we choose all five data then there will that will not be a single uh, you know there will not be a single line there, there will be two lines and you cannot find a slope for that line so that's why we will just work with the upward data and we will find out this uh, relation between voltage and pressure and we'll apply that relation here like uh, pressure times 0.1993 and you will get the theoretical value these are the theoretical value and these are the actual value and you need to find out the differences between the actual value and theoretical value all right all right so yeah this is the difference between theoretical and actual value okay so that's how you work like uh, this is the this is for the first one this is for the second one and i i did it here all right so you can see the differences for each run and then what you need to do uh, according to the report requirement so we already find, find out we have already found out the sensitivity and the predicted output values like you can see these are the predicted output values the theoretical values 
and these are the plots you need to find out the plots and the, as you can this dotted line here the dotted line is this is actually the original uh, theoretical line and this solid line this is basically the actual line that we're getting the result we're getting from the experiment all right so and then what you need to do after completing these four steps like basically there are three steps here we need to calculate the linearity error so and we already calculated the linearity error here these differences are basically linearity error and then we will calculate the maximum expected linearity error so for each point you know for each point like for zero there is a difference so you can see for zero there are 0 0.1 0 0.13 0 0.12 0 0.14 0 0.11 and 0 0.14 you can see there are six points for zero and six differences so we will get the maximum one and the maximum one is 0 0.14 and we will divide it over r zero so r zero is the full scale output in, in this output in this case that is five volt and you can do the math after that you have to find out the hysteresis error so the hysteresis error is the differences between the upscale and downscale here you can see these values are upscale value like 2.5 and for run 2 2.65 and for run 3 2.4 and you can see the downscale value for run run one so this is actually upscale and this is actually downscale so what we are getting like let me do a sketch here okay so basically for each run like if i draw a curve here and this is voltage this is pressure when we are going up we are going up this way okay and when we are going down we may go down this way so you can see there is a, some there are some hysteresis here so at the midpoint here uh, like 13.6 or 3 whatever it is you can see there are some like uh, maybe we are going up this way and coming down this way or vice versa so let's say this is y upscale and this is y downscale so whenever we are going up so at the middle we are getting different values so this will be the hysteresis error uh all right so you will just calculate these differences between this and this value so uh let's just write a function so the function is will be very simple like minus this one and you can see this is the hysteresis error and you will repeat this one for every every one of these all right and you will find out the maximum hysteresis error uh, among these three runs okay and after that and that's how we will calculate the hysteresis error and after that we need to find out the standard deviation for each point okay so you can see there are three points basically 0 13.3 and 27.6 and downscale and upscale basically so for each point you can see there are some differences so for zero there are six differences all right so what you need to do you need to find like for zero let, let me write it here for zero oh, for zero so we already found out the differences okay there are four there are six points like you can see one two and three four five six there are six points so i will write one two three all right and you can see the differences here so i will just write the differences here 0 0.1 0 0.13 0 0.14 